Hello there, everybody. This is Wheelchair Bandit. I'm back after like a week of not being here. If you're wondering why I've not had a video up the past week and as to why this is a couple of days late, then I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to keep it a secret. You don't get to know. Nah, seriously. It's been the last week of college. We've had lots of shit to do. I've had to like write essays and draw a comic. I'm drawing a comic. <laughs> the whole class is to make their own comic. Um, my one's awesome. It's called Cyman, and it's just fantastic. I'm actually going to, in fact, yeah, I could. I could upload it to Dropbox, and put a link in my pants, and you guys can go and read the script and be like, oh my god, this should totally be on shelves everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'll put that in the underbar. You can read that script, and then when I finish it, I might go ahead and like finish the whole, the whole comic, like outside of college, because we're only, we're only meant to do like a few pages. But this is like I've got the script for issue one. And um, if I ever finish it, then I'll upload that as well, and you guys can be like, "Wow, you know what I mean?" Because that's what I do to people every single time. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say something else about why about things. Yeah, the reason this is late because I could have recorded this on Saturday. But I was actually busy on Saturday with a friend, and then um, Sunday I've just had a really sore throat. Today I've still kind of got a sore throat and my nose is a bit bunged up. If I sound ill, I apologise, and if I'm coughing and spluttering and you know, that kind of horrible mucusy noise, then um, good for you. You get the privilege of hearing my snot coming through your ears. Speaking of coming through your ears, nice segue there. <laughs> no, I got on your microphone. It might sound clearer, it might not sound clearer. I think I might need to change the setting a little bit, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a blue snowball, it's a really good mic apparently, and I've, I've done a little couple of tests with it and it sounds really good to me. So then we'll see how this sounds, and if it sounds awesome then it sounds awesome, if it doesn't sound awesome then I'm going to go home and cry and probably put my penis in a vice. Because I'm just hardcore like that. So anyway, on with the show! This is meant to be Bandit's World of Wisdoms after all, it's not a commentary. I promise I'll have another commentary up. Um, I won't have another band. I won't have another world. Ah! I won't have another bandit's worldly wisdoms up for maybe another couple of weeks because it's Christmas next week and I'm not working on Christmas. <laughs> no, I don't know. I might. If I'm really bored, you might have one, but you probably won't because it's Christmas. But I'll make sure I get at least another commentary up before then, before Christmas, or maybe just after Christmas. But there'll definitely be at least one or two before New Year's. And um, I'm getting a new camera at Christmas, so I might film some stuff in New Year's of just drunken parties or whatever happens and put some of that up and see what happens. Could be exciting. You might see me drunk. So, question one <laughs> comes from a guy called Cure Rock. He left this in the comment section. He asked, what was your favourite game series as a kid? Well, I've always had Sony consoles. The first games console I ever bought was a PlayStation 1, and the first game I ever played was Crash Bandicoot. And I fell in love with the, the series from then, and um, I've played all of them since, well, like, the first three maybe. I don't know if there's any, like, spin-offs now. But the originals, the ones on the PlayStation 1, were, like, fan-bloody-tastic. And, literally, I would sit there all day and just sit and play Crash Bandicoot. Um, I would happily sit and play over like the same levels over and over again just because it was one of these games that you could never not have fun playing. So to answer your question, Crash Bandicoot. But, um, I also had a Nintendo, not Nintendo, uh, well it is Nintendo, but a Game Boy Color. And I had Pokemon Red. Now if you've played the Pokemon games as a kid on the Game Boy, you'll understand just how fucking awesome they were. Uh, Pokemon Red was all oh my days. Like, I had a PlayStation and everything, but I would just sit in my room and play this fucking Game Boy for hours on end. And uh, we'd have, like, the link cable to, to trade Pokemon with friends and stuff. It was fantastic. And I recently got the emulator on my laptop, and I was playing it again, and I was like, yes! The music and everything, all the. No, it's not it. What am I talking about? Do 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 do
you'll understand that if you have you played Pokemon Red, you'll know that tune, and right now you'll have been smiling, and you'll have been like looking up. I remember that. I know what you're like. So, um, so yeah, try and get an emulator. I don't know where I got my emulator. I just kind of googled it and I found it. It was free and it was for Mac. So, um. Honestly, it's fantastic. If you've not played it, try and find somewhere to play it online. It's really good. Um, where was I? Questions. Yes, this is a question show. This is a talk show, isn't it? I should have guests on. In fact, I'm meant to be having a guest. Uh, one of my friends from school is going to be coming on at some point. Uh, probably the next episode. I don't know. I need to get in contact with him. Um, quite well, after Christmas, obviously. Just to, just to come on and sit with me and do it together, because he's like a really funny guy, and he, he just wanted like an outlet to get things, like to be creative and talk on the internet, because he's, he's awesome. But um, So that'll be something to look forward to, and urge everyone to watch that when it's up. Um, Questions. The Real Finnish Fish asks, see he's going to be sitting here smiling because he knows exactly what he asked. <laughs> so um, I was actually not going to use this because I thought it was just rude, and then I thought, no, it's rude. I'm going to use it because I like I like rude questions. So he asked, "Do you like titties?" Well, the real Finnish fish. My answer to you would be, indeed. <laughs> I, I am. I, I'm a tit man. I'm not. Well, I'm actually an ass man. If you must ask. If you must ask. <laughs> see what I did there. See what I did there. No. <laughs> um. If I'm looking at a girl, like say in college or whatever. The first thing I would look for is the ass. If she's got a nice ass, it's like, wow. If she's got nice tits, then alright, but if she's got like no tits and a really nice ass, that's far more attractive than a really nice tits and like no ass, you know what I mean? So um, I'm much more of an ass man. So to answer, I like titties, but I prefer ass. Female ass, not not male, not ass, not... not <laughs> I'm gay. No, I'm not. I actually got a message. Some of you may have seen it a couple of weeks or yeah, a couple of weeks ago. This guy, someone asked on one of my videos, um, if you're secretly gay, inbox me. And I was like, dude, where the fuck did that come from? No, I'm not secretly gay. But I just punched my laptop there. If you heard like a thud, that was me punching it by accident. I'm not secretly gay. I'm openly gay. I, I will openly fuck as many. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not at all. I honestly. If I sound gay, then I'm sorry. I don't really know where that came from, and I hope I don't sound gay. If I do sound gay, then... Sorry, guys. Not for you. And I know I'm hot stuff, but... Can't please everybody. So, question number... Or not question number three. This guy, DarkPip097, you're on a roll, dude. <laughs> he asked questions in the last video. And, um... He's actually really good at asking questions, so, um... I applaud you. You're making me have lots of questions. I've actually got a shit ton of questions, and um, so I've got loads of questions. I've got enough questions for like another two episodes, but keep them coming. I need a lot more. I get fucking video responses in, guys. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'd rather have like voice or video that I can put in my videos because it's more interesting than someone else on the screen rather than me just reading it out. Nah, if you if you don't want it, that's fine. I have no problem. I love everyone all the same. So DarkPip097 asked five questions. He asked five questions, but his first question was, and it's a serious one, so get get your glasses on and some serious looking hat. You got your hat on? Do you believe in God? I want people's opinions below as well for this one, but I don't want it to turn into some sort of like a religion debate. Just like give like a small opinion on what you think about religion and things like that. But yes, I believe in God. Um, I was brought up a Christian. I was brought up going to church, a uh, Protestant church. I'm not, I'm not a crazy Catholic. Fuck that. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I was brought up a, a Christian. I used to go to Sunday school. My mom took me to Sunday school like every day. Every day? No, every Sunday. Sunday school was not on every day. We're not that weird here. Yeah, I understand we're Scottish. We're a bit, I don't know, pagan, pilgrimish, um, living in the forest, cutting down, cutting down trees. No, I don't even know. My brain is mushed because I'm ill. Um, so a lot of things I'm saying isn't going to make sense. Oh, vagina boobs. But no, I'm a Christian. Um, probably not the best Christian. 
as like the last two words I just said was vagina boobs. I'm pretty sure a lot of Christians don't go about saying vagina boobs. But I, I had fun. But I do believe in God. But I don't believe God's some heartless guy that is going to penalise you for saying a swear word. Or he's going to penalise you for being gay. You know what I mean? See money. It's not that. <laughs> like people are all like, oh my god, you can't be gay. Oh my god, you, you can't have sex before marriage. Oh my god, you can't say a swear word. You can't smoke. Oh my god. Well, they don't say oh my god because they're, they're uber Christian. You can't say oh my god if you're a Christian apparently. It, it actually it is taking the Lord's name in vain, but I don't see things like that because almost everyone does it. I don't feel it's going to go right. You're going to hell because you said fuck. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, that's my view on the thing. My outlook on, on religion as a whole. It's, it's, it's something to look, look up to, I guess. Keep your spirits up. So, he, right, he asked another question. Second question. Is there someone you love? Um, or well, on a serious note. No, not, not love, love. I mean, there's people that I love. Like... Just as, 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 as friends, if you know what I mean. Like, there's people I would say that I would get on really well with, and like I'm not in love. I'm, I'm not in love with everyone at the moment. And I have been in the past. There's been a couple of people that have been like, I could see myself with them. You know what I mean? But then after like a year, it's like, wow. Okay, or maybe two years, it's like shit. You're crazy. Always <laughs> doesn't watch my videos. I've only been in like a relationship longer than a year and a half. And so it's obvious getting who I'm talking about, but she did get a bit crazy. But no, 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 you're cool. You're still a friend, I guess. Even though we don't talk that much anymore. I like everyone. <laughs> I may have just dug myself a deep hole there. Um, hopefully that it doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm open to love and, and people. And there's people that I'm interested in. People that I care for. And people that, I don't know things might work out with, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so moving on, swiftly, uh, Dark Poop also asks, will you make any Let's Plays? And my answer is, possibly. Do you guys want to see Let's Plays? I actually started trying to make a Let's Play of Vanquish. Um, I recorded some stuff, but it was more like it was a live commentary while I was doing it. And uh, one of the problems with that is, I concentrate a lot when I play video games and I don't talk. So there was literally, I listened to it back, I recorded about half an hour, I listened back to it and I was like, shit, this is like five minutes of me not talking whatsoever. So I thought, fuck that. So, but when people make Let's Plays, do, do they record it and then commentate over it, like what I'm doing just now, commentating over gameplay that I've recorded, I've recorded before? Because if they do, then I can just see, it, what, why, why do a Let's Play when I can just do a normal commentary? You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. I might attempt it again doing a live commentary because I think it only really works if you're doing a live commentary because then you get your reactions to the game. Because I've not completed Vanquish yet. So it'd be fun just to play through it and like the second half of the game kind of get all the surprises and stuff with you guys, if you know what I mean. Um, or there's other games. What other games? Enslaved, I've got that. I've not finished that yet. So um, if you want to see some Let's Plays, tell me in the comments below if, if you want to see one and what game you would like to see me play. I have most games recently, uh, maybe not all, but I'm open to buying games because I like to buy games, any game, I'll buy any game and give it a shot and if it's shit I can sell it again. So let me know what game you want to see and I might, I might give it a shot. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, it's fourth question, four out of five, in bad. Um, do you love me? Yes, Dark Pip, I adore you. You are my fantasy. When I go to bed at night, you're in my dreams. You make me complete. You are the father of my dreams. I want to penetrate your soul. I want to penetrate your soul with my member. My man member. My man meat wants to meet your man juice. Question five. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? Listen, dude. My last two commentaries, I've pretty much said what my favorite sport is. Yeah, you ask these questions, you imbecile. Um, no. My favourite sport is wheelchair rugby, obviously. Um, I appreciate the question, I wasn't meaning that in a bad way. I'm not, I've never really been into proper sports, like, or what? Well, I'm not saying it's not a proper sport, but I've never really been into like team sports, like football. I'm not into football. 
Um, I'm not really into rugby, like normal rugby. I'm not into basketball. I don't know. I was always more the skater, kind of into skateboarding, BMXing, parkour, like feet running. I used to do that all the time. I was never in the house until I broke my neck. And I'm just always in front of the TV playing video games <laughs> or this microphone um, or at college. But I'm still like a skater. I'm pretty much just a skater that can't skate. I still listen to all the music, Blink-182, like all-time favourite band, Blink-182. Fantastic, seen them live. I don't know why, I'm talking like this, but it's fun. And, <laughs> boom. I'm going a bit crazy now. <laughs> like, at the beginning of this commentary, I was like, fuck, I'm tired, this is going to suck. And then I'm like, I don't know, I've had a rebuild, I think it's going to make me a little bit hyper. But I still feel bunged up, my nose is kind of bunged up. So, um, anyway, that's the end of Dark Poop's questions. Poop. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you. I, very, I appreciate that very much, Dark Poop. You're welcome to leave as many questions as you like. Um, last question. Hold on, I better find this. It's from a guy called Dark Nemesis. He asked me this on PSN. He's on my PSN list. I'm looking at my PS3 right now. My PS3 my TV just now. I think there it is. Um, he asks, Hey, I was just wondering, what do you get... I was just... I'm going to start again because that was a failure. Hey, I was just wondering, do you get easy access to games uh, like live close to the game store? Yes, I live very... Oh no, actually. I don't know. I was, I was going to say I live very close to a game store, but that would be complete bullshit. I live nowhere near a game store. Um, I, well, I do. I live like 10 minutes away, a 10 minute drive. But I get most of my games online. Because it's easier that way. You just click. A couple of days later, it's in your in your house. So um, That's how easy access I have to games. Online or a 10 minute drive away. To Kirkcaldy. If I'm going shopping, I'll have a look at game. I can never go to Kirkcaldy without going to Game or Game Station. Because... I'm a geek. You're probably the same. If you walk past the game store, it's like, I cannot avoid you. It's like some sort of magnet for geeks. Anyway, he also asked, um, you have inspired me to, to do my own commentaries, but I'm uncomfortable with my voice. Any advice? Just do it, dude. I mean, when I started off, I was very uncomfortable with my voice. Uh, go watch my very first commentary. It's on my channel. Um, it was horrible, I was like, um, so I'm walking around and uh, I don't really know, I'm rubbish and uh, this guy who shot me, it's shit, and I'm really shit, and I was really uncomfortable, but my advice would be just do it, and just keep doing it, and eventually you get comfortable like this, I've done this all in one complete take, um, I did do a bit of a take beforehand and thought it was sounding really boring and shit, and deleted it, but a lot of the time I just do it in one take, I'll just literally plug the mic in and go, and that's me, uh, 10 minutes later I've got commentary up. Not up, but finished. So just do it, and if you need to write things down, write things down. It may help. It helped me at the start. I used to write things down a lot, but now I don't. Um. Oh, now I just write down questions for Bandit's Worldly Wisdoms. Other than that, I just wing it. I just plug the plug the mic in, and I'm off. And it works out perfect because you guys get to listen to my awesome shite that I dribble. You know what I mean? Speaking of dribbling shite. Uh, I recorded an awesome uh, video for Rock Presents, for, um, you know Rock, Rock Lobster, he does a thing called Rock Presents where he presents like uh, new commentators, but he's going to put that up at some point, I don't know when, he's got quite a few he said, so I'll link that when it's up, because Rock's awesome. So yeah, that's it, that's the end of episode 3, um, thanks for watching very much, um, I won't have video of Bandage Worldly Wisdoms up next week probably. Because it's Christmas. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a really good Christmas. Um, I will have commentaries up before then or before New Year. So, you, this isn't the last of me until the New Year. But it's the last of Bandit's Worldly Wisdom. So, um, thanks for watching and please leave more questions. Uh, Merry Christmas. Woo!